Sim racing has never been more popular and the global pandemic is one of the reasons for that nice little boost. And if you don't know anything about sim racing, sim racing is the art of driving a realistically simulated virtual car on a virtual track on your PC or console. That means the cars are simulated down to the deformation of the tires so you can get a feeling that's as close to the real thing as possible. And what are these simulators used for? Racing, a lot of competitive racing, in a lot of leagues for a lot of money sometimes. I've sim raced for about a year and a half, but I can still feel it drawing me in again. It just has such an amazing appeal to it. And that's why I'm here today to give you five reasons why sim racing is good for you. Let's go. In his book, Driving on the Edge, Michael Crum describes racing as a form of meditation. You're in the here and the now, and you're only focused on your driving and what's in the next corner. And it's not wrong. When you're going 240 kilometers an hour, surrounded by other cars, every drop of focus counts. And if you still think sim racing is just running laps around the same tracks for hours at a time, let me give you an example of what a sim racer has to think about when approaching a corner in heavy traffic. And that's just my take as a novice sim racer, the list goes on and on. If you let yourself get distracted, you're going to make bad decisions and those bad decisions can end your race or lose you time. That means that you get immediate feedback on whether you're able to maintain your focus or not. And in competitive racing, it even becomes a game of high speed chess combined with psychological warfare. Your opponent pressures you to make mistakes while you try to defend your line while keeping your pace. Being able to remain in your flow and focusing on your driving is what makes such a good and consistent sim racer. And that's why, as a coach, I think sim racing is an excellent way of developing those two skills. First of all, if you're wondering what a growth mindset is, I made a video about it, so make sure to check it out. I dare to say that people who sim race for a longer period of time are probably the proud owners of a growth mindset. That's because if you're in sim racing only to win, you're going to have a bad time. There's always somebody faster than you, and at times you're even racing against professionals whose times are way out of your reach at that moment. This means most sim racers are pleased with a clean race, a top 10 position or consistent lap times. They are literally chasing a hundredth of a second at a time. They really need to be able to look at small successes and celebrate them to keep their sanity intact. That focus on small, almost inconceivable progress is really what sets sim racing apart from other genres and subsequently is a perfect base for having a growth mindset. Small disclaimer, you're not going to become an F1 champion overnight by only racing in your home simulator. Driving in a real car is still a bit different from driving in a simulated environment. There are, however, certain skills that overlap, such as your technique when looking at an apex of a corner. Some racing pilots who combine sim racing with real racing even say sim racing gave them added insight on how people behave on the track, an increased situational awareness, and having the right reflexes when it matters. Look at the concept of catching oversteer, for example. Of course, it's going to be different when driving a real car, but the basic principles are the same. And if you want to have proof on the transfer of skills between sim racing and real racing, Gregor Hutu, an absolute dominating force in iRacing around 2010, got the chance to drive a real racing car and got within three seconds of a professional lap record despite him having absolutely no experience in a racing car whatsoever and he had to flu. Case closed because I think that's enough proof for me. Despite there being quite the steep learning curve to overcome when first trying to race competitively, there will always be someone to help you out or give you advice. Sim racing has one of the best close-knit communities I've seen. The amount of passion and dedication these guys have for their hobby goes above and beyond. 
They tend to operate on a basis of mutual respect and most communities are quite disciplined when it comes to handling conflict and discussions. Of course, there will be the odd flavor now and then, especially in competitive races, but they get filtered out pretty quickly. That's why you'll see things like pre and post race driver briefings and live stewarding in competitive races, which takes away a lot of the discussions on track and helps you focus on racing itself. And if you're not into setups, for example, there will always be someone there to help you set up your car. Not to mention the gazillion videos on YouTube to help you out. With the pandemic, sim racing has become quite mainstream and even lucrative. With payouts like $200,000 for the winners of the Ports Esports Super Cup in iRacing or $500,000 for the winner of the F1 New Balance Esport Pro Series, it's starting to pay to race, literally. iRacing took the crown for a long time when it came to organized racing, but with initiatives such as SRO Esports for Assetto Corsa Competizione, GT Sports World Tour or Race Rooms World Touring Car Cup, there are a lot of officially sanctioned leagues for you ambitious folk. Not to mention the buttload of organized racing for us mere mortals through initiatives like simracing.gp, David Perel's SimGrid or simracing.club, which is one of the biggest R-Factor 2 leagues. And even then, there are some amazing communities organizing leagues on every level. I've been quite active in a couple of communities and I can honestly say I've met some amazing people out there. So if you're still on the fence about sim racing, I hope this video helped you to finally take the plunge. And my advice would be to find a league, meet new people and really enjoy the experience of close competitive racing. That's it for today guys, Senpai out, see you soon, bye bye.